we're always counting down the days to the next big event in life, whether it is the first bud of spring, the flowers, fun in the sun, or of course my six-year-old, we're trying to tell time, and that does say three o'clock. Yeah. These are great. These are sundials, and they're made of chocolate, right? Yes, candy. yes they're candy plaques. Candy plaques. Mm -hmm. and How candy, do we make these? Well, candy's very, uh, it's a lot of fun to work with. It's pretty easy to work with. And you also have a lot of moles out there. So, you know, if you're doing, like we're doing kind of fun in the sun, there's those, but there's and also the flip sports. Flops and, and the trees Yeah, there's and all sorts of moles out there, and they'll usually show you how you can put them together, either solid or with different colors. But we're doing in the gardening one today, and I've melted some candy melts, which is basically the craft chocolate, so you don't have these to worry about These are the little pellets mm -hmm. They start out like little coins, uh -huh. and you want to make sure you melt them on a lower power, like power three or power five. Or like defrost, you can mm -hmm. put it in defrost? You can put it on defrost. Okay. And I've just got this in a bottle, and I'm just going to squeeze this out, and I'm actually just, you know, you just keep squeezing and squeezing, and you could use a measuring cup if you wanted to. You could use a disposable bag. Um, it just seems like it's a little more controlled when you're actually uh, doing it out of the squeeze, squeeze bottle. bottle. But with the control, with the bag, you would actually just clip the tip mm -hmm. and, and squeeze it out of the, the bag to make that possible, okay. right? Now, it looks kind of messy on the top, right. so you want to pat it so you get rid of all the air bubbles that are in there so you'll have a smooth look when you actually finish with it. And then if you want, you could put it in the refrigerator or the freezer just like that but you could also make a lollipop out of it. So if you're gonna make a lollipop out of it, you wanna put the stick into it and kinda of twirl it and give it a little tap so that it's really reinforced. Now I'm gonna go get some I put in the fridge earlier. And just so you know, sometimes the sticks do wanna pop out and during the holidays we did them and we let them set up just a little bit and then put the sticks in and mm -hmm. they seem to hold just a bit better. Now, when they're ready to come out, it's probably about seven to ten minutes in the refrigerator, in the freezer, obviously, it's about half that time. But you'll see kind of the frosting underneath here. You'll actually see the candies kind of come away from the moles. Right. And you turn them upside down. Ooh, those are cold. And they come right out. If they don't, just give it a little bit of a twist. Where would you find these? What section? Would you find them in like Usually a baking in a craft section? store or a grocery store? Mm -hmm. You can find some different types. Okay. And sometimes it's called bark. Bark. Now okay. I've got I've melted these and I think it's a pretty good consistency. I want just a small little tip uh, because I'm going to actually you're going to decorate I'm gonna, them. Yeah, add I'm the gonna, detail. I'm going to add the detail. You could add the detail ahead of time, but I'm just dropping it there for his eyes. And when you Let's add the detail smile. ahead of time, do you layer the chocolate? Is that do you put you the would go ahead and put layers? the dark chocolate in there and then get that nice and solid and then come back and mold the other. Okay, so let it set up and mm -hmm. then go and put your second layer now, on. Now, if you're also doing the flowers, you could just squeeze out, you know, like they're on the center and it, it just, just turn this into like a dot flower. And what is it, brown eyed Susans that they? Yeah, I think they're actually black eyed Susans. Black -eyed but if Susan, you want to have okay. brown eyed Susans, that works for me. Let me just finish this. And this so it's going to taste like white chocolate. It's, it's going to taste colored, just like chocolate. Right? The only difference between this and real chocolate is it's a different type of fat in it so that uh, you don't have to worry about tempering it or having it what we call bloom. And bloom just means it turns white, so it's still good. And Turn how long does it set up? In That'll be set up in just a couple of minutes at room temperature. Oh, okay. It sets up even faster in the fridge. Now, if you wanted to do your plaque, like you, okay. we started out the showing the plaques, uh, what you could do is just use your baking pan and put a whole bunch of your candy melts in here, and this has been in the fridge, and just flip it out. And these would be cute, not only on these uh, candy melts or the plaques mm -hmm. you make, but on the top of a cake. You could use the same candy, the same candy theme on the top of the cake as a sundial, or to put your suckers to gather them up and put mm -hmm. them in the middle mm -hmm. as an arrangement. And then to just put uh, them on the plaque, I'm just gonna add a little bit of the candy. Yeah, I'll let you put him on. Thank you I'll, so much. Oh, here we're going to kind of cross. But this one's cute. This is really has a spring theme to it, or a garden theme, I guess you would mm -hmm. say. This is great for and, and here, for a gift. Put the frog this on. would be perfect for um, a gift for someone, maybe as a housewarming gift. Uh -huh. Wouldn't that be cute this time of year? Yeah, I'm going to milk a little bit out because this is hardened. Okay. I could be neat and do it on a paper towel, but that gets rid it's of. It's gotten the a little bit part. hard, but okay. I can put it back in the microwave. I'm going to start trying to write and we'll see. I'll just write out fun and see you can write with it. It's a little and it's not icing. It is candy it is that candy. we're talking about here. Now you notice I walk it back so you don't see my tips 
right. at the end. And while this one has a garden theme and we have flowers and, and summer and the numbers, there's also the holiday themes. You know, there's Easter and Christmas and uh, there, there are a lot of options out there if you're looking you for can, something. See, you can write with your candy too. So there you go. Isn't that great? And now these, you've just attached them to a sucker, mm -hmm. to a stick. With some, uh, I used white candy you milk, so I probably should have used the red. But you can actually <laughs> dip them in there. And then for the finished products over here, you have a mug. And now this mug, you have that the spring, the frog, the bumblebee. Yeah, some of the same ones we put on the plaque. With the garden thing. You know something else these would be cute in? Would be one of those little terracotta pots. Mm -hmm. And Absolutely. Or you could put like them that. in treat bags. There's clear treat bags out there, so you could put them in there and use them as a favor so that you would give them to the people when they left. And tie them up. But mm -hmm. this would be great for someone if they're in the hospital to take this and wrap it up and put a big bow on top just to say, I'm thinking about you. Mm -hmm. Some great ideas. And it's easy. It's quick and easy. Everyone in the family can do this.